AI document writing and slideshow making, an integration between the calendar and reminders apps, a much smarter Siri. These are some of the new features that we might be able to expect from iOS 18 and macOS 15 if rumors and news are correct. And these are the new versions of iOS and macOS that Apple will be announcing on June 10th at its annual WWDC or Worldwide Developers Conference. Reportedly, Apple's head of software engineering, Craig Federighi, has instructed Apple's software engineers to put as many AI features into iOS 18 as possible. And Apple's senior management has called this update ambitious and compelling. There's a bunch of non-AI updates coming as well. So let's take a look at the news and rumors and go app by app. And then at the end, I'll make some predictions and some wishes about what I'd like to see from iOS 18. Apple Notes is already more powerful than many people realize. And I've done quite a few videos showing you what you can do with Apple Notes, but it's reportedly getting even better. One of the features that's said to be included is the ability to record voice memos inside a note. And those can then be transcribed by AI or even summarized by AI. So you could potentially leave your phone on the table in a meeting with lots of people and have the Notes app record that and then give you all the action items that you discussed or perhaps even give you a transcript speaker by speaker, which would be incredibly helpful. Notes is apparently also gaining the ability to display math equations and notations, which could be really handy for students. And altogether, this would just make for yet another really solid improvement to the Notes app and give you very little reason to go with a third party Notes app. Apple's own calendar app will reportedly receive an integration with the Reminders app, which many people, including myself, have been wanting for a long time. You're apparently going to be able to create reminders inside the calendar app just by clicking or tapping on a specific day, and then you'll be able to choose whether you want to create a new event or a new reminder, which we can think of as a to-do for that particular date. That's going to be an amazing integration. I just hope that we can also show reminders or to-dos that we've created in the Reminders app that have a due date on a certain day, on that day in the calendar app. That would be really amazing for planning ahead, planning your week, even time blocking and those kind of things. So let's hope that that feature is as robust as we're all expecting it to be. Apple's productivity apps like Pages and Keynote are reportedly gaining generative AI features so that you're going to be able to use the AI to draft documents or to tidy up documents or to create a first draft of a slideshow. Those things would all be really cool. I haven't read anything about Numbers, Apple's spreadsheet app, but it'd be really cool if that got AI features as well and you could just say use this data to generate a chart that shows the performance of this stock over time or something like that that's going to save people a ton of time and also uh, allow for a lot of new creative uses of these apps in the messages app we might see ai powered sentence completion kind of the same way that already exists in gmail for example but there's also going to be a bunch of non-ai new features in messages and in particular it's going to be much nicer to text with people through the Messages app who are not using Apple devices, so people using Android phones. There's gonna be a protocol called RCS, and that's gonna allow you to have things like typing indicators, read receipts, although I always suggest turning those things off, things like higher resolution images and so on, even for people who are not on iMessage. Of course, for those of you like me who usually don't spend time in the United States, we're already using WhatsApp and other messengers. <laughs> But, you know, for those of you in the U.S., these Apple Messages features are going to be a really welcome improvement. The Photos app is rumored to include new AI photo editing features as well, which would be really cool. Let's see whether Apple can do a good job with this. I really want them to avoid putting in AI features just for the sake of it. I only want them to add AI features if they're genuinely useful and not just a gimmick. But Apple is generally pretty good at that. So let's see. Spotlight and Siri are reported to be getting big, big improvements powered by AI, and I'm incredibly excited for those because Siri has always been kind of bad, right? Compared to, for example, Google Assistant. But apparently Siri is gonna become much smarter, more conversational so that you can have a much better back and forth with it. And so that it's not every third time gonna say, I searched the web for lampoons <laughs> when that's not at all what you wanted it to do. And this is just gonna enable so many useful workflows. Siri is gonna be able to suggest things for you better. You're gonna be able to use natural language to talk or just say, show me all my documents that are like this or that. Hey, in this document I wrote that report last month, what were the key action items? If Siri could go in and read those things, that'd be absolutely amazing. Let's try not to have the expectations be too high, but there's a lot of possibilities here and it's about time for Apple to really make Siri a lot better and competitive. Hey, by the way, this is a new video format 
content for me. So if you are enjoying this video and would like me to create more, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and use the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. Next up is the Shortcuts app, which I personally don't use that much. And I know people are excited about it because you can do a lot with it. If this happens, then do that, and you can create really interesting workflows. But I still think that for the average user, the Shortcuts app is just too complex. But it is possible that AI features are going to be baked into the Shortcuts app, or rather will help you do things with the Shortcuts app without you even needing to open the app. So for example, you could tell Siri, I want you to do this for me every morning. When I get up, use the home app to turn on the lights and blah, blah, blah. And then Siri can go ahead and set up that automation for you so you don't have to think about it. Wouldn't that be amazing so that you can just talk to Siri the same way that you talk to a human and have it do all kinds of useful things. You can actually already talk that way to tools like ChatGPT, but ChatGPT doesn't have the access to your stuff the same way that Apple Siri does, so that would be exciting. Safari is rumored to be getting a couple of new features that are AI related and a couple of other new features. There's apparently going to be a web eraser where I guess you can erase something off of a web page that you don't wanna see, and that will then never show up until you undo that, even if you visit the page again later. Interesting, I wonder if a lot of people would actually use that. There's apparently gonna be some updated design elements to Safari as well. Maybe some buttons are gonna be moved around, which I feel like happens with Safari every year, so. I'm not excited about that, but maybe it's good. Let's see, we'll find out. And apparently Safari is going to be able to use AI features to summarize articles that you're reading that could be really handy and also to answer your questions about things that it's reading on the page. I find it interesting, by the way, that with all of these new AI features that are helping us parse information, we do need to make sure that we're always still actually reading, comprehending, and analyzing things ourselves, and just using AI as a tool that helps us. This is gonna be a really interesting skill to develop for us in the future to how not to rely on AI to do everything for us, but rather to work together with it to achieve the results that we want. Anyway, that's just some ponderings. The iPad has been reported to now get a calculator app, which I guess is really useful for people who are students or who need to calculate things on their iPad a lot, which I don't really find myself doing, but it's kind of weird that it wasn't on iPad before, so. Good addition. In terms of more general iOS features, you will apparently have more customization options for moving app icons around on the home screen of your iPhone or iPad, which would be really great. And there's apparently a couple of new AI features that sound cool. One is that the AI or Siri or whatever they're gonna call it might be able to help you write texts and stuff and great. The other one is that it might be able to summarize your notifications for you. So that's cool if you're away from your phone for a while then pick it up and there's 35 notifications. If the AI can quickly tell you, this seems really important, most of these are not that important and just summarize it and then allow you to clear them all. That could be really handy, save you a lot of time weeding through notifications. So what do we think of all of these reported and rumored new features? I'm personally very excited by the potential integration of the reminders and calendar apps. That'd be super useful and it's gonna unlock a whole lot of new workflows. But I'm even more excited about these potential AI features that are surely coming, if not this year, then in future years. Already tools like ChatGPT are really powerful. In fact, I recently released a video on some of the things you can do with ChatGPT, so go ahead and watch that if you haven't already. But a limitation of ChatGPT is that currently it doesn't know that much about you yet. Whereas Apple's apps contain a lot of our information. What if Apple's AI were to read all of your emails, messages, notes, documents, and so on, and use that information to be an amazing personal assistant for you? It could draft emails for you. When you're drafting an email, it could remind you, hey, the last time we emailed this person, there was this thing, this issue, an open loop that we didn't finish, that we didn't discuss. Should we mention that right now? Here's a solution I suggest. It could make an to-do list for us based on all of the things it's seeing that we have on our calendar, in the reminders app, in emails. There are all kinds of creative uses, including many things that you and I are not even thinking of. And what we're seeing now and what's possible now is just the tip of the AI iceberg anyway. And if you're relatively new to the concept of AI or if you've been using ChatGPT, go check out that ChatGPT video that I did recently. And if you like what you're hearing about the new possibilities and notes and reminders, there may be a bunch of other things you can do with those apps as well that you're not aware of. So go watch my videos on notes and reminders. As always, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. See you in the next video. Ciao.